What's up guys, this is just a quick tutorial of one of the shots that I put up recently in the Borgero video. Um, and it's basically just going to explain how to take a simple bit of footage that I shot on my GoPro Hero 3 White Edition. Um, kind of standard footage, doesn't look amazing and make it look kind of a little bit nicer so you can mix it in with a, a DSLR footage or kind of any higher end camera. So let's go over to Final Cut Pro. Okay, so at the moment I'm using uh, Final Cut Pro 10, uh, it's 10.2.2, so most recent update at the moment. Um, and the only other plugin, well the only plugin I'm going to be using today is uh, Neat Video. Um, it works on Final Cut Pro and it also works on Motion 5, um, so either way, it's really good. Uh, Motion 5, it's it's a little bit slow on there, I personally find, but still works pretty good. So what Neat Video is, basically it reduces the noise in the clip. So if you're looking here, this is the original footage, and you kind of see it's very grainy in places. If we watch it through, it's not, it's not very nice. Um, Kind of in the shadows as well, it just looks like a bit of a dull, dull image. Um, so, just watch it through again. We can kind of clearly see the noise and all the flickering there. It's, it's just not very nice. So, the first thing we'll do is, um, as you can see, I've already got it set up over here under the effects. We're going to turn on the uh, neat video plugin to, uh, reju to uh, reduce the noise, and uh, we'll see how it looks after that. So, we'll turn that on now. Okay, so now that's with it turned on, so it's obviously a much softer image now, it's uh, taking away some of that sharpness, however it has got rid of a lot of the uh, noise, so we'll watch that through again now. So now it looks a lot nicer, things like the shadows brighten up a little bit, taking away that grain, and obviously things like the sea and the sky look a lot nicer. There you go. So, quick before, kind of the sea doesn't look particularly nice either, and the sky looks horrible. Um, we'll add the noise reduction again, and it's kind of softened out the sea a little bit, um, but I don't mind that, to be honest, it still looks very nice, and the sky is obviously cleaned up. So the next thing is, I want the whole image to look slightly bluer, because it's obviously a lot of sea and sky. Um, and the warmth, it's always alright um, warmth wise, but kind of things like the shadows over here, like the trees, um, it's just not, it's not perfect for what I'd want. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn a quick colour correction, turn it on now. So obviously you can see the before, it's taken away a bit of the green, added in a lot more blues. Um, it's really kind of picked up this area here in the sea and in the sky. Um, so, kind of, it's defined the sea and the sky a little bit more. You've lost some of the detail in the trees, however, it has also uh, kind of picked out some of these bushes here but as before. All that noise, as before, it all just kind of blended, blended into one. So, that's kind of, that's what I've done. It kind of blends in nicely with the rest of the footage. Um, if we go over to the colour spectrum and things, I've left the exposure where it was because I was happy with how uh, the kind of auto exposure on the GoPro had already set it all up. Saturation, I've just lifted the entire image a little bit, which did, uh, yes, um, kind of add a little bit of noise to start off with, but obviously we've cleared that up now, no issue. And uh, over on colour, I've literally kind of left most of the stuff where it was before. I've added a little bit of warmth for the uh, global, and I've literally just read. Uh, raise the mid tones so they're now blue. Um, so, as I say, just to add that kind of sea and sky back in. If I wanted to, I could probably drag the shadows down a little bit, a little bit green. Um, oh, not that much, my goodness. Um, maybe a little bit, but to be honest, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it where it was. Um, but we'll go into more colour correction another day that's a whole a whole different topic but that's basically the uh, the befores which is uh, a very nice tool and obviously the afters um, I know this is short but hopefully you guys get the gist of things that doesn't really matter what camera you're shooting on you can 
to still make stuff look good as long as you take a bit of time in a post to uh, kind of match everything in. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and next time we'll probably be doing a little bit on colour correction. See ya.